Okay, this is a video about the free Green Shift Foresight editing theme, which is the companion theme of the Green Shift plugin, page and animation builder. The video is divided into 13 major benefits of using Green Shift theme in the WordPress Foresight editing environment. At the very end, I will show you how to use the Green Shift Query Loop Builder block with many different design layouts for your archive pages by using only a single Green Shift Query Loop Builder block. Green Shift is a block theme. It is made up of the new WordPress 6L functionalities, and this means it uses recent WordPress functions as the core query loop builder, the section patterns, the new spacing units, new ways to calculate font size, among other things. Green Shift is a full site editor theme. This means you can customize and build your entire website by adding different content blocks. And here is my major benefits or features a list of the Green Shift theme. The team offers more than 12 query loop templates and many predefined posts and page layouts. And this allows you to easily create a variety of page designs without starting from scratch. In a few minutes, I will demonstrate how to achieve this. The Green Shift theme offers a comprehensive library. It comes with a library of block styles and section patterns, which can help you build a unique and professional website without the need to code these elements manually. If we open the list view, you easily access the Green Shift Patterns. Patterns was a new paradigm introduced by WordPress recent releases. Block patterns are predefined block layouts. They are pre-designed pages or post elements that can be used to quickly design a page section or a full page layout. They can be fully customized so WordPress users like yourself can take advantage of this powerful feature. And they are reusable blocks, meaning that once you have chosen, you can add it anywhere and customize with just a few clicks using the site editor's controls. Another action you can take is going to this website. This is a WordPress block pattern library where you can browse through these categories. Then you choose your preferred one. And then all you have to do is to copy, click to copy, and then paste it on your content. Green Shift also has a ready to be used templates. To access, just press this icon at the top, green shift, call it green shift helpers, templates, and now you can browse through each of these category lists until you find the one you like most. And now it really depends on your green shift's license and add-ons. They are ready to be used and all you have to do is to press the link to preview and if you are pleased, just click, just click once more to be installed and imported into your website with one click button. Another great feature is the ability to change the style variations. Green Shift theme allows you to change the entire look of your theme with a single click. To access styles, it is a straightforward process. You go to Appearance and then Editor. Let's say I want to edit the home page. You click on the template home page, click to edit, and by clicking on this, by clicking on this green shift icon, and this is the spot where you will set the global colors to be applied across your website. You can define here your global colors. All you have to do is to click on this as change to... You can set your global typography settings. For example, by opening up the global typography section, you can set here the fluid, fluid typography settings where all you have to do is to set a minimum and a maximum values for and for the line height as well so that it's calculated on the fly for you and this is awesome for dealing with so many different screen sizes available to browse on the internet the general 
settings for interactive for interaction. For example, you can enable the mouse following and its color. So after you go through all these settings, you can save it as a new preset in order to be applied across your website, to be applied globally. In contrast, by clicking on this icon, it will take you to the green chief theme settings. And here is to set the primary font, if you want it variable or not, the dynamic options to enable or not the night mode. I will show you in a second to enable the progress bar on posts and to enable the back to top button as well as to WooCommerce options to disable the checkout, customization and card customization. For example, to build custom WooCommerce pages with assistance of the powerful reusable templates feature. Another thing I want to show you is if you click on this high icon, you access the new WordPress style, style book. You can enable or disable as well as you can add additional CSS by clicking on this little three dots line. And this is a new WordPress feature. It's a visual representation of all the styles that will be automatically applied across your website, saving time and effort to design and actually see the changes you make all from one dashboard. It is only applied to the WordPress blocks you use in the website. You can browse styles, change the look of the site. At the moment is set to this black color theme, which is the default green shift style. And to change it, all you have to do is to click on it. Let's change to this green neon. As you can see, it has been immediately applied. Let's go with this one or this one, you decide. So check the different styles applied to this page and notice the slight variations in terms of colors and fonts. The green shift theme supports dark mode and provides a style switcher allowing users to choose between different styles for the website. So for example, I want to switch this style to another one. So all I did was search here for night, night mode switcher, and then you can fine tune your label position and the switcher alignment in your controls panel. Green Shift is a full site editor theme and this means it's completely transformed the content creation experience. You now can customize and build your entire website by adding different content blocks. With a site editor, you can add theme blocks to your website, you can create blog templates, gaining complete control over your site design. First, let's locate and view the theme templates. To access them, open the home page, editor, and here you find the templates used in your website. We have a dedicated template applied for every use case for archive, product catalogs, front page, index, and so forth. And this is the WordPress core template system. If you want to change and build from scratch, all you have to do is to click on this plus icon at the top. If you want, let's find out the header part. Where is it? It's not here. Just click on the left arrow to find the template parts. Here they are. Think of each group as the group blocks ready to be used, header, footers, mini card, page title provide by the green shift theme. And depending on your design goals, you may want to add new templates or edit the available default options. To add a new template, you access through many different ways. One of them is to press on this plus icon, or you can edit the available default options to leave the editing work. By the way, it seems a little confusing. All you have to do is to click on the WordPress icon, just like that, to leave the site editor. The other way, and perhaps the simplest way, is from your WordPress dashboard. You click on any post 
post or page and then locate at your right hand side this summary panel you find the default template applied to this post open it up as you are viewing this post is using the default template right and you can take here from here two possible actions you can edit the template it goes straight to the wordpress site editor or you, you can create a new template by clicking on this folder icon then you give it a name and you start building or designing and the same goes for your header footer areas and they are called template parts. I hope you now understand this. And once you are satisfied, you can export to whatever place you need to. In my next tutorial video, I will be more detailed about this. Stay tuned. Another great benefit I want to mention too is the WooCommerce support. If you are planning to run an online shop, GreenShift theme provides in a style loading for WordPress with its WhoQuery Builder, you need to have the WhoCommerce add-on and you're gaining better inputs and a cleaner design for shop pages and improved layouts for WhoCommerce blocks. For instance, if you go to WhoCommerce settings, you can customize your WhoCommerce pages by using these green shift tools, settings. You can hide the description, you can enable Gutenberg, you can disable who gallery scripts and so forth. You can switch your posts display between grid and list view. The green shift theme allows you to switch to the display of your posts on the page between a list and the grid design, which provides more options for displaying your content. For example, you can assign a new blog page. I enter a container, a green shift container. Then I click on the plus icon to have a new block. And I have this advanced query listing builder. And here they are. And this is beautiful. I also like this design layout. And one of my favorite feature of the green shift theme I want to highlight is the ability to override site pages content blocks by using this fantastic reusable templates feature. The approach is very simple. You design it, you design it, you select it and you define the display conditions and you are ready to go. You can, for instance, make your custom post type template. Next up, I want to showcase you how to use the green shift query loop builder block in a creative way with many different design layouts for your archive pages by using only a single green shift query loop builder block to start off you put a container or a wrapper and then you click on the plus icon to have a block you have this green shift block this with, with this light blue color. This is from WordPress. Query loop block is a useful feature that allows you to show posts, pages, or custom post types with certain settings. It works like the latest post block but offers more options and flexibility. In WordPress, a loop simply means displaying similar information multiple times. You assign a custom width with these values, you should, you should enable this smart scroll to inner items as well as the carousel script and enable this option to is this container for query loops and you will see why this is matters you know, in a moment. So with the green shift query loop builder block, you can design as this slider design or as a grid layout. You want to activate the filter settings and this is a great feature. Even Elementor doesn't have this option yet. And then you enter your, your label. Now let's imagine that I want to hide one or two posts. How do I do this? Here are the steps. So if I want to hide the first post this insider, all I have to do is to input here one and voila. If I want to hide two posts, enter 
then number two. All right. The most interesting design part is under the grid section. So close this up. So you enter here the post item you want to change. So to me is one. And then for instance, let's change this to two. You get this beautiful layout. If you want to remove the first one, if you want a column range of three, you get this another different design layout or this one or this one. So what I mean is changing the numbers here, you get these beautiful designs and totally different. I suggest you play around with these parameters you are capable of getting different, innovative and, un and unique design layouts for your archive pages. And that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching. I will catch you guys in the next one.